In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the AXE notation to describe a molecule with a central atom. This notation is used to describe a Lewis structure for a molecule. The X represents the number of bonds to the central atom in the Lewis structure, and the E represents the number of lone pairs on the central atom. So in order to fill these numbers in, we need to actually be looking at the Lewis structure for the molecule. Now, one of the things that you can do to save yourself a little bit of time, instead of drawing out the Lewis structure, is to just look the Lewis structure up on the internet um, and if you're going to do that, which I'm going to do over here, you do want to make sure that you're always being careful uh, just because of autocorrecting or the internet assuming that, you know, you say CH3+, plus, but it thinks maybe you mean something else. So we want to make sure, um, even if we're being really careful with our searching, you want to make sure that you're actually looking at the correct Lewis structure. So for example, here's a Lewis structure for CH3 minus, and that is not what I want to use. That came up in my, in my Google search, even though that's not what I typed. So here's the Lewis structure for CH3 plus. Um, it is using kind of funky notation, um, using dots to represent the bonding electrons, which I don't love, so I'm not gonna represent it that way. Um, and it's, a, it's an ion, so showing the positive charge next to the carbon like that. So uh, here's the Lewis structure. Now, if you, if you didn't want to use the internet to get the Lewis structure, we could go through the process of, of coming up with the Lewis structure to do that. You would use the periodic table to count up the number of valence electrons in the atoms in the molecule. Um, so this molecule is going to have a total of seven valence electrons. And then you are going to either add or subtract electrons based on the charge. Because this has a positive charge, that means it's lost an electron. Um, and so that means I've got a total of six electrons that I need to use to draw the structure. I'm going to arrange the atoms around uh, by putting the carbon atom in the center, connecting the hydrogen atoms to the carbon atom with single bonds that uses two, four, six electrons. That's exactly how many I have. That's it for this particular structure. I think I feel like the positive charge is a little distracting. So for this molecule to, to fill in the AXE notation, I need to count the number of bonds to the central atom. That's going to be one, two, three bonds to the central atom. And the number of lone pairs on the central atom, that is a zero. Now, I do want to say um, I'm going to just kind of make a crazy modification here. If there was a double bond in this place and... I can't do that to hydrogen, so we'll put an oxygen there instead. So if, if we had this molecule, number of bonds to the central atom, we would still count that as one, two, three. So a double bond in this type of notation, a double bond is just still being counted as a bond. A triple bond is being counted as a bond. Uh, so this, this structure would also have the exact same AXE notation. Another thing that I want to point out is that E is representing the lone pairs on the central atom. So for this molecule, even though there are lone pairs on the oxygen, there are no lone pairs on the central atom, and that means that um, E is still zero.